Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Drea. I know it's been a minute since I made a video, but I'm back and I'm better than ever. I've got so much I want to talk about, so much I want to express and get off my chest, but I'm going to just take it one video at a time. This video, as you can see, is going to be my 2017 resolution. I figure, you know, why wait to the day before or the day of to start a resolution, you know? That's what I feel like the problem is. People are too worried about, oh, I want to start here. Like, start now. If you got something you want to do, just start now. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait till the new year come to be a new you. You could bring in the new year as a new you. You know what I mean? So I just want to touch bases on my um, New Year's resolutions and tell you guys what I've been up to, stuff I've been brewing, ideas and stuff that I've been thinking about, wanting to do. And just really putting forth that effort to really do it now. Really taking the time out to really put forth all the effort that I want to do. As in doing little projects. As in making more videos. And all types of stuff. So, um, a couple of New Year's resolutions that I want to do so far. is just basically self-discipline myself is one. That's one. Self-discipline I feel like is one of the strongest and most powerful things that a person can have. And once they impact it and like basically knowing how to like teach yourself and listen to yourself without having the other part of yourself because you know how most people have that self-conscious mind and being conscious and non-conscious of their actions and stuff like that but you have that little voice in the back of your head that's like hey don't do it but then you got that one that's like look just do it you know you be careless and that's the one that most people act on but if you just listen to that one and like don't do it self-discipline yourself is to like taking a different path whether it's to being better with time management or at your work or as a mom, as a parent, as a person, as whoever, you know what I'm saying? That's really strong. I've been really praying and asking God to just be with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to preach religion on nobody or push it on nobody, but the way for me to like basically hold on to a lot is my faith. You know what I mean? So being with that said, I just pray on my faith with my self-discipline that it progresses and gets better. You know what I mean? Because that's definitely a good strategy to have in life. When you be able to self-discipline yourself, I feel like you get a lot further because you're a little bit more structured with the way you think, with the way you do things, you know. So self-discipline is something definitely that I'm gonna bring with me into 2017. Um, another thing is just joy, of course, being happy, being positive. You know what I mean? Just always putting forth that energy to like go above and beyond, whether it's for myself, whether it's for my job, my daughter friends, family, whoever, you know what I mean? I just want to always stay positive, even in my negative life, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting here saying that my life is going to be good, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody's life is going to be perfect. But even in my struggles, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to call on my faith and I'm just going to pray and be blessed because I want to look at the stuff that I do have versus whatever I'm going through. Because I've come to the point to realize, like, or everybody should realize at this point, like, everybody's going to go through the struggle. We're going to have natural life to deal with. You know, once you get 21, you're going to have bills. And that shit, it comes natural. I'm trying not to curse my, this video. So, pardon me if I did, does it slip up, if a curse word slips up or whatnot. But that's another thing that I'm working on. It's, like, cutting out all that cursing and stuff. I don't, I'm not bad with cursing. I'm not, like, a sailor or whatever. But even here and there, because I have a child or whatever. But back to what I was saying. So, just being happy. Being happy with who I am. Being happy for where I'm at. Where in life. How far I've come. Where I'm going. Where my progression is taking me. So, I'm basically just like... Self-reflecting a lot. Basically just self-reflecting on myself. Basically just self-reflecting on everybody that's around me. Whether they're good for me or bad for me. Just removing all that negative energy. Anything around me that's not positive. That's not bringing me joy i feel like that would bring me down or put you in a space where you don't want to be that's something that you have to all think about because you don't want anything to stop you from being happy not at all and whether if this is your family or if it's a loved one like you got to be able to be happy with yourself because if you're not happy and you know when you're not happy you know what i'm saying it, it it eventually shows because you always have this burden or whatever you feel like is holding you from be, reaching your happiness you know what I mean? So, keeping a happiness with me. Even when I'm going through bad times. When I say bad times, like, car-wise or financial-wise, I'm just going to pray on it and just leave it at God's hands. Because it's like, 
Life is going to come and it's going to throw you stones. It's about how you overcome those stones, how you build your house back up from getting that glass broken. You know what I'm saying? So joy is definitely something I'm taking with me into 2017. And I advise a lot of people to do the same thing. Take joy with you. If you don't take nothing else, take your happiness. Take your peace of mind and take your sanity. Because something that you need that's really detrimental to life that you need to basically like deal with life. Honestly, you got to have sanity. You got to have a peace of mind. You got to have joy. You got to have that for yourself in order to be able to cope with everything else that's going around in your life. And that's really important. So, yeah. Yeah. And another thing, I just want to, um, hmm, stay up on my workouts. I mean, I've always been a gym freak a little bit, but I slack off here and there. But lately, I've been progressing with my, um, workouts and stuff like that. I've been putting myself on little challenges. Like right now, I'm on a 50-day 50, 50 squat challenge. Every morning, noon, and night, I do 50 squats for 50 days. So we'll see those results soon. You know what I mean? Just keeping your body healthy. Because when you're healthy in your body, like you feel really good about yourself. You feel really good because you look good. You feel good. Then it makes you want to do good. You know what I'm saying? Like putting that positive. Like it goes back to positivity and being happy. Like when you have a happy body and you just like everything is going right. Like you don't have no choice but to just be happy because you feel good, you look good. Everything is just like, yeah. So definitely staying up on my workouts, eating healthy. Yes, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat that. Lies. Because I love to eat good. It's all about your proportion sizes and how you, what time of day you're eating it. That's most the problem. Like the three main problems when it comes to like really trying to lose weight is the portion of food that you're eating, what time of day you're eating it. Like if you're eating at 12, two o'clock in the morning at night, then that's the biggest problem. And basically just not working out at all. Like if you got a job, you sit on your butt all day. Like if you work in call centers or whatever, not saying nothing's wrong with it, but if you're just sitting around all day and you eating and you did, you leave work and you're still not doing no exercise, you're never gonna see results. You gotta incorporate working out somewhere in your life. And I just learned that at a young age. And even that's because I did sports a lot. But even that is just the fact that as I get older, I wanna be able to remain healthy physically, mentally. I wanna remain healthy in all aspects of my life. So I try to keep up with my workouts and try to stay healthy and cleanse and keep my joints and ligaments flexible. I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? As you get older, like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not speaking like I'm old, but. You know, I'm reaching, you know, I'm 23, so it's like, if you keep up on those habits while you're young, you can interpret it when you start to get older, so when you get older, your body's a little bit more shaped, you know what I'm saying, because some people just, after they get a certain age, they just don't work out anymore. I love working out. It's just cleansing for me, it's refreshing, it's motivating, it's a peace of mind, it helps me clear my mind, it helps me push myself, and that's one of the biggest things why I do it, is because it helps me push myself to do stuff that I, you know know that I'm going to do further and then I interpret it in my you know personally is like if I could push myself to do this workout for an hour I could push myself at work to go above and beyond or I could push myself as a person to do this or whatever it is that I want to do so working out for me is just like a milestone into other stuff that I know I could push myself to do so little stuff like that like helps me be a little bit more positive and make my outlook on life a little bit more better because it's like when you have a strategy or a way that you can look at life that make it easier for you or things that help you keep your mind clean and like keep you happy whatever it is do it hobbies like focus your stuff think about what you want to do long term like if you're around my age or you know me or we went to school together or whatever the case may be like we're around that age where it's like we need to get in the field where we know that we're one going to be we're one going to be in for the rest of our lives and i'm saying like all these regular jobs yeah they're cool but it's like do you really do you really really want to do this you know what i'm saying do you see yourself doing this at 35 or 30 or next two years from now you know what i'm saying like i just can remember in high school about all the dreams and stuff that people that we used to talk about doing or friends or the people that i used to hang out we used to talk about doing this or doing that or becoming this or becoming that and like to see everybody now just like i know everybody grew up we had kids life 
happens and then we're just living these regular lives but I don't want to forget about my dreams I don't want to forget about what I want to do in my life I don't want to forget about my passions my ambitions what I enjoy doing that stuff is important because once that falls slim then it's like what are you living for not saying what are you living for but what do you what do you really want to do now you're just sustaining life and just living to work I want to I don't want to live to work I want to I'm not work to live I want to be able to work but then live my life you know what I'm saying so I want to enjoy my job. I'm not going to do it for a check. And that's another thing. It's like, whatever. That's a whole other topic for a whole other video. So, yeah. That's another thing I want to bring into my 2017 year. Staying healthy. Keeping up with my workouts. And another thing I want to um, bring into my new year. Well, matter of fact, let's switch it up. I want to talk about what I'm not going to bring into my new year. What I'm not going to bring, negativity, of course. That's number one on the list. Like, everybody knows that. I'm not bringing negativity, meaning people-wise. That goes to friends, family, members, everybody. Like, I'm not bringing anybody into my 2017 lifestyle. And I know that they don't really mean well by me. They don't really be believe in my goals or my dreams. They don't really care if I succeed. They they plotting on me to fail. And that goes for people that's in my family, still calling in my family, blended in my family, whoever, friends of the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that stuff pertains to it. Like, the ones, you know what I'm saying? No subs or anything. It's just like, you already know. If you're not for me, then don't be near me in this year coming up. Like, it's no point. Be happy in your space. Let me be happy in my space. Don't need to bring two conflicted, you know, situations. Together. Not situations. Don't need to bring a conflicted situation or whatever the energy may be into a situation where that person feels as if they know. Like, it's, a, it's just a little bit difficult to explain, but someone knows when you really don't really care for them. Like, everybody knows that. Everybody has that feeling, that tension, that awkwardness. Whoever it is, like, we all know who's for us and who's not. And some may not, you know what I'm saying? Because they just that good at not showing their true colors just yet. But eventually, it always comes out. But, yeah, people that's not for me, like, negative energy, Debbie Downers, all that non-believers, people that don't have goals, ambitions, and dreams. I don't want you near me. I want everybody, I want people that got businesses, goals, ambitions, all that I want that in my life I want that in my life so bad everybody positive energy it's just something I you know what I'm saying I'm driven for you know what I mean I'm destined to do great things in life and I know that I know that I'm bigger than what I'm bigger than what I know I can be you know what I'm saying? And it scares me because it's like when you have so much capability to do something and you don't even recognize your own greatness just yet, but you know you're great and you're destined to do great things and move somebody and touch somebody, that's scary in a good way. I'm sorry, y'all. This is my song. Can I pause what I'm saying for a minute just to listen to this song? Okay, I'm going to pause it because this is a video about my resolutions, but I love that song. Oh my gosh. I'm just changing my way of thought in life. I'm changing the way I go about things, my decisions, better choices. I'm just trying to be more alert. And my whole thing is my strategy now is just to basically just think before I do anything in life. Whether it is, you know what I'm saying, car decisions, life and jobs, financial relationships, especially relationships and friendships. Those are the best two. Those are the main two things people need to like basically... Basically, take heed before you step foot into, in 2017, relationships. Now now we can get into that. Relationships come in 2017. You got to be able to take shit slow. I know we're getting older, but we're not getting that older that quick. You know what I'm saying? Shit not flying around the moon. So take your time. Stop worried about trying to be with somebody so much. Not speaking to nobody. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm just saying, even if it's for myself, I'm not pressed to be with nobody. Nobody. You know, it's crazy because it's like, people think I'm with so many people. I don't care who you think I'm with. I don't care who you think I talk to. I know what Andrea does. You know what I'm saying? And it's not mine nor your business to really know that. You know what I'm saying? You signing them checks? Okay. But anyways, 
take your time when it comes into jumping into these relationships. Get to know somebody. As boring as it may be, you didn't talk to a thousand people, but when it comes to finding somebody that you're trying to be with the rest of your life, especially when it comes to trying to make a kid, where you, where y'all, you know what I'm saying, and you, you know what I'm saying, and it could be a, possibly a kid involved, you have to take your time with that because you won't have to deal with this person for the rest of your life. Unless that person leave the earth, you know what I'm saying, God forbid, but it's really important because I feel like nowadays we go in based off of lust. Everybody lusted for each other and want to hunch and not really knowing who they are. Like, you just want to lust for them, but you don't even know their birthday, let alone their dad. They could have, they dad could have been a KKK member, you know what I'm saying? You never know. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know these people. Oh, I want to date her because she, she, her, she make cute baby. I want to make cute baby. Like, all this stuff, like... Even if it when it even if it's not that, even if it comes to people that you already have a kid with, it could be your own baby father and y'all still messing around and he's talking about having another kid, not even having another kid, but y'all having sex and you know it's a possibility that y'all could have another kid and you ain't doing nothing to prevent it because he's not doing nothing to show you that he wants to be in your life. Meaning you ain't even got no ring on your finger, but you got his second kid. You ain't even got them living together, but you got his third kid. You ain't even got they gonna got a car your name. So if anything happened to him and you been holding him down for ten years and he didn't dipped off and did this or he, you know what I'm saying, you ain't got nothing nothing to show for that you was in this man's life he's going to go with his family you know what i'm saying because y'all not married you know what i'm saying you got to be able to have some stability or have something that know where you set in life especially when it comes to the relationships like that like ain't no sense of wasting your time when none of these people that just want to lay up in you because you feel good inside and you just want they want to make all these babies and stuff but you ain't got no commitment you know what i'm saying but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother motherfucking video. I was just saying, 2017, take your time when it comes to relationships and friendships. Especially friendships. That's the siller. That's the silent killer. The silent killer is the friendships. Because we be so ready to make a friend. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be like, no new friends, no new friends. But dead ass, my new friend come around, you be ready to meet that motherfucker. Especially if they cool as hell and they like the stuff that you like. They like to the smoke, you like to the smoke. They like to the drink, you like to drink. You like to hang out, you like to hang out. Or even if it's motivational stuff, you know what I'm saying? We be so ready to gravitate to the next positive energy because it persuades itself to be positive you got to take your time with friendships they be want to jump head first and then later on that that person was a snake you know what i'm saying people are good at disguising who they are when they first meet you because you don't have no choice but to go off of what they say and because you don't know them until you get time and over time they will reveal their true colors so take your time when it comes to friendships Watch what you say. You ain't got to tell your new friend everything about everybody. Like, you don't know who they may know. They may know you from somebody else. They may want sit to find you from somebody else. You don't know. Take your time when it comes to friendships. Definitely. So, yeah. And another thing about my resolution. I just want everybody to be blessed. It's not even just about me. I'm not. I want everybody to be blessed. I want everybody to achieve their goals or whatever they have set for themselves. If it's minor, major, like, go for it. Do it. 2017 is the year to start doing stuff. It's so much stuff to be invented. It's so much stuff to do, so much stuff to explore. Do it. Find your passion. Girl, if you want to make socks warm on the inside and put an activator in it, invent that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to buy a pair of warm socks. Who don't like warm socks? I'm just saying, like, in general, like, in general, just do what you want to do and stop wasting time doing the nonsense because it's like you waste so much time doing stuff that you could invest when you sit and really think. That's why I feel like a lot of stuff comes from when you sit and think about life, then you start, then your creative juices start to flow about what you really want to do with yourself versus trying to find something to do all the time. Because when you want to find something to do because you're always bored, then you wind up getting into something that you ain't got no business getting onto just because you're bored and you wanted to do something. But when you sit down and reflect on yourself and self reflect about what you really want to do with your life, then you start to brew up plans and ideas and stuff that you think about doing that you never really thought about but yet you put forth to write it down on paper and once it becomes down on paper and you speaking it into the atmosphere and it's becoming you speaking it into an existence that's basically what it is so do that you know what i'm saying but i'm no one's therapist or no one's you know what i'm saying whatever i'm just another human being speaking using my voice as a panel and that's exactly what i'm starting to do now like i had someone reach out to me about one of my videos it touched me so much that they don't even freaking know like they don't even know that i might start making videos all 2017 and that's another thing that i'm gonna do 2017 i'm gonna start making more vlogs more videos about anything i'm like my page is 
diverse about anything it could be a makeup tutorial clothing tutorial summer vacation inspirational like my next video is going to be so inspirational i want everybody to tune in because it's going to be phenomenal it's not going to just be a regular video i'm going to have features and i'm going to have a couple of my friends and family members inside my next video it's going to be like a panel so i want everybody to stay tuned for that one is really really important i feel like it's really informational for a lot of people that want to hear about stuff that's going on in the world especially when it comes to this black life minor black lives matter issue because it's really important and i feel like a lot of people just yeah they, they know about it but they don't really know the importance of what's really going on in this modern day slavery let me not start preaching y'all because that's a whole nother video but like i said stay tuned for that because this is definitely gonna be something y'all want to hear we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that's been going on we're gonna hear and it's not and that's why i want, chose to do a panel so you can hear different people aspects and you know what i'm saying different people aspects and opinions on how they feel about it from a black man from a black woman from a white girl like anybody like i'm gonna have a diverse panel and we're gonna get into the situation and really start talking so i want everybody to stay tuned for that video but yeah back to what i was saying my 2017 i ain't really have much but to just be positive be happy self-discipline take my time when it comes to relationships and friendships and most of all just be happy you know what i'm saying like that's it I started my challenges already. I started my resolutions. I'm not waiting to the New Year's. I'm not waiting to the day before New Year's. I know what I'm doing, and I'm sticking to my guns, and I'm just going to pray that God keeps holding me and blessing me with the self-discipline, and I learned just to, like, humble myself and take every situation into heed, whether if it's a good situation or a bad situation. Pray on everything. Even when stuff goes bad in your life, pray. People always want to pray and thank God when something good happens. Pray when it, especially when it's bad. That's when you need them. I'm not trying to push religion on nobody. I don't know what you guys believe in. I don't know you guys' religion. I'm just saying this is what helps me. This is what gets me through. So I hold on to my faith and I just pray and I let everything go in his hands. I do what I can, but if some stuff is out of your hands, it's stuff that you can't deal with. You just got to let God deal with it and do what you can in the time. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just living life, being a good mother, being a good person, being a good employee, whatever I am. Like, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm in a good place in my life. I feel like I'm, I got my health. My child is good. She has her health. I'm really doing good in my job. I got a promotion. I'm a manager. I'm trying to build and grow. And I'm in a field where I feel like I want to do my career in because I want to start my brand up with my clothing line like I got so much stuff I want to do with you guys and I want to share with you guys and I'm so happy that I'm so getting back into these videos and to put my voice out there so you guys can see what I'm doing and what I'm really involved in and what I'm really about and where my real my real mindset is you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm more than just a pretty picture so I want you guys to just like stay tuned with me and I'll be happy to take you along on my journey of life especially come 2017 I got so much in stores you know what I'm saying doubt is gonna doubt supporters gonna support but I thank you guys for watching my video. Share, log, share, you know what I'm saying, comment, all that other stuff. Like the page, whatever. And, yeah, you know, till next video, you guys. Stay blessed. Be humble. And that's all I can say. Be happy.